without any knowledge, without any forewarning. Next thing they knew was that planes were flying over Baguio and bombs were dropped and that the Japanese target was Camp John Hay. I went to the church because it is my birthday and then I was inside the church. The people told me that John he was bang and we are all playing. Grew up here like maybe five or six years when my father was assigned at the military academy and moved back to Fort Bonifacio and met this guy. I'm the son of Colonel Jose Perlas, graduate of class 44. My husband, Alfredo Dolormente Manangan, he served with the guerrillas unit assigned in Baguio City. It was 1941, December. I can remember. We scattered all the people in our place. We go to the mountain and hide there. This infamy will not be forgotten not only because of the lives lost, but of the great heroism displayed gallantly by the soldiers who fought this war. Pinagbalindak ng para deliver di surat na di ay sikreto ng surat. First memory I ever had that my father had a picture of a little girl next to his bed. Two days before he died, he waved me over with his little finger and I went up next to him and he said, son, find your sister. I got involved with fame, well, Filipino-American memorial endowment to maintain um, memorials and monuments for World War II. The crosses were made of tin. The last time I was there, there was only one, one cross left. And the lower cemetery, that had headstones which were flat, you know, just a, a block like a brick, a little bit larger than a brick. Having been a child prisoner of war interned in Santa Tomas, I still feel that something should be done. I've, I think these are people who um, were in the war effort and they're just left behind. <laughs>